important news. Here is Daisy, the diesel rail car, who has come to help while Thomas is indisposed. Run along now and show her the shed. She will want to rest after her journey. In August of 1929, the Great Depression would sweep across the United States, bringing with it nothing but economic ruin. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking about Daisy, a fictional diesel rail car created by the Reverend W. Audrey. She would first appear in the railway series book Branchline Engines, published in 1961, and last appeared in Thomas and His Friends, published in 2011. All around, she's considered more of a snooty type, but is quite reliable, and as long as there's no freight involved, you can count on her to do almost any job. Daisy takes a basis of the BR Class 101. In 1986, Daisy was introduced in the second season of Thomas and Friends. In the Railway series, Daisy's face was green, which matched her livery. But in the television series, she has a gray face to match the other engines. She would later appear in season 4, but became absent until she returned in the 2005 special Calling All Engines. Following this, she was absent again for 10 years, until she returned fully in CGI in 2015. That being in the special Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure, and would make frequent appearances until that series ended, that being in the 24th season. Now, before we talk about her Gage 1 model, I think we should start with Audrey's model of Daisy, which he actually described making in the 1980 annual. Daisy was built while I was riding Branchline engines. She was very easy to make. I bought a trying twin car diesel set, and all I had to do was then cut off the driver's end from the trailer car and cement it to the square end of the power car. I fitted skill wheels to the power and trailing bogies, and that was that. Daisy is a good and reliable performer, and has given very little trouble in her 14 or 15 years. It first was used on the Farquhar branch line layout in 1963, and at a later date, the yellow ends were added as well. It currently is on display at the Narrow Gauge Railway Museum in Wales. From that, we finally jump into the Gauge 1 model. Daisy's model was custom built with a plastic body shell. It was painted using glossy car body paint and lined with yellow automotive pinstripe tape. Her buffer beam comes straight from the BR80, made by Marklin, and the lamps she wears are also from Marklin. Daisy had a custom-built chassis that was shared with Boko. The back axle carried the motor while the front was unpowered. That so it could be changed between a four-wheeled bogey and a six-wheeled bogey, depending on which diesel was wearing the chassis. In the fourth series episode, Bullseye, as well as the production measurement sheets for the third series, Daisy would incorrectly wear Boko's front bogey. This error would transition into her merchandise, her take-along prototype, some of her Ertl promo art, and even the My Thomas Story library illustrations. Oh no. I don't really need to tell you how the eye mechanism worked. I feel like you guys know by now, you know, with the two servos and all. So let's jump straight into her facial expressions. Daisy had four different facial expressions sculpted, and all were used on screen. Like the others, these were sculpted in clay, and from that, resin casts were made using a silicone mold. Three of her faces were bocos, only with added makeup. In March of 2010, Daisy's model was put on display at Drayton Manor, and is currently wearing her smiling face. While we're here, note the cracks on her rear end. Now, it would take a while, but in 2014, Daisy was finally created for CGI, that being again for Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. Her model, like most others, was hand-sculpted in Maya, a 3D animation and modeling software. Throughout the appearances in the CGI series, she would go through many changes. For example, she slightly increased in height, gained a raised front buffer beam, a smaller face, her windows gained frames, she gained a smaller headlamp, and many, many more. But largely, that wraps up the history of Daisy. Honestly, one of my favorites even now. I always appreciated her snarkiness, her livery. I just always really enjoyed this character. And I'm curious, what do you guys think of Daisy? Be sure to comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know if there's any other characters you guys would like to see next, and I'll do my best to either make them or add them to the next poll. I know for this one we didn't really do that, but I thought it'd be fun to surprise you guys either way. So be sure to let me know who you guys would like to see next down below, and if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. There's always more stuff on the way. As always, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That's a good story, she chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose and no more but she said it to herself.